We thank you very much for this warm reception. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his wisdom, in his mercies, in his uh, infinite uh, infinity, bring back and restore peace and peaceful coexistence in the first state. Amen. On behalf of our delegation, once again, we commiserate and condole with the people of the first state over the spate of killings, kidnappings, and high level of insecurity that we have been witnessing in the first state in particular, and most parts of our Northwest, and generally in all parts of this country. As leaders, we must all work together to ensure that we restore security and order and peaceful coexistence in this country. That is very key and very important and very fundamental to our survival as a people and for us as leaders to engender uh, development and provide good governance in our respective states. Having said that, I would like to uh, acknowledge what our leader, the former governor of Sokoto State, Atayabda uh, Bafara, said that we are here in Zamfara to see our people, the people of uh, PDP in Zamfara State and its leaders to consult with you on the forthcoming uh, 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 general elections in 2023 on the possibility of my throwing the heart again in the ring in order to contest for the flag of our party at the next national convention where we are expected to now uh, uh, produce a standard flag bearer for the presidential ticket of the PDP. We attempted it in 2018, 2019. God in his mercy uh, gave victory to our leader, was it Adam Atiku Abakar, and we supported him, uh, and, but God Almighty also uh, made it all, uh, impossible for him uh, to emerge victorious, and now we are here again. The reasons that made me to leave APC in 2018 and reconnected back with the PDP, and also for me to uh, attempt to run for the office of the president, are still very much around. High level of insecurity is here, is still unabated. The level of poverty is still very high. Healthcare services are almost non-existent in most parts of the country. So the economy is bad. Virtually everything from 2015 has, is, is like a, going in a, in a reverse gear in Nigeria. And we believe that by the grace of God, with your support and support of Nigerians, PDP can produce the next president of Nigeria, inshallah. And the time is right. So it is important that we come around physically to visit you and encourage you and tell you that you are not alone in PDP in Zambara State. We are with you. We will continue to support you to mobilize the people of Zambara so that PDP will emerge in 2023, inshallah, victorious in Zambara State and in Nigeria in general. So we are here to consult you on this aspiration so that we can now, at the end of the day, be informed on what the decision, what decision we are going to take finally as to whether I should now run for the president, uh, for the uh, contest for the flag of PDP as a candidate in 2023 or not. And we have seen the one reception according to the first state. We are very pleased with it, and we, we are not surprised because we know it's homecoming for us. While coming here, I received a call from a journalist. Ah, Gondo, you are going to Zambara? I said yes. With all this rumor in the air about impeachment, are you going there because of the rumor of impeachment of the governor? I said no. I am not going to Zamfara because of the rumor of the impeachment of the deputy governor. Because as lawyer, I cannot make public comment on a matter that is subjudice, on a matter that is before a court of law. And I know also that like, there is no responsible member of parliament that will now go against a existing court order. And there is no any judge that is worth his salt uh, being a judge of a high court that will now go against a court order. Therefore, on that basis, and the matter is something is, I'm not going to make any comment on that matter, even if I'm asked. And that is not what is taking me to Zamfara. What is taking me to Zamfara is consultation on the aspiration that I have by the grace of God to take uh, be the standard flag bearer of our great party. I therefore appeal to all political leaders in the first state to close ranks and come and face 
what is happening with the people of the first state. We know the situation of general insecurity of this state, and we cannot afford to allow ourselves to be continuously divided on other politically uh, 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 different political parties or internal crisis of political parties. We must close ranks as leaders and come together to provide leadership for the Amfara and see how best we can bring back security and peaceful coexistence in the Amfara state. That is what the people of Zamfara are looking for, and that is what we as leaders must all work towards. I therefore appeal to our, our leaders of the PDP in Zamfara state that whenever you are called upon to come and engage with the rest of the leadership of the state to discuss issues of security and to how to establish security in the state, kindly accept that and continue to pray that God Almighty shall bring back and restore security and peaceful coexistence in the first state. Once again, we thank you very much for this warm reception. May God Almighty continue to grant us victory in the first coming election. I would like to remind everybody of the persecution that PDP members have are feeling today in Zambara State. Uh, we are trying to conduct our state congresses. Unfortunately, talks suspected of the APC came upon our materials. Our deputy chairman is not here due to witch hunts and so many other tragic events that's happening to PDP members. We would like to call on the general public and His Excellency to take notes, but we will remain strong and inshallah we will win the possible. Also, I would like to use this medium to tell everyone we are very, very happy with the support His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Sokoto State, has given us in so many aspects and the advice and strategies that we will be getting from the former Governor of Sokoto State as well. As I said earlier, the people you see here with us today are all genuine PDP members. Genuine in the hearts and because the people that are left with His Excellency are all hungry political mongers. I have used my office, my leadership and with the advice of my fellow members to choose carefully the new leaders, the new delegates of PDP. And who you see here today, inshallah, if they make promises, they will, they will keep it. Your Excellency, we are in good hands. Based on this, I would like to remind everyone, it was in this hall, before the 2019 elections, my boss, His Excellency, made promises that he will never cheat or leave PDP. Nobody asked him to do that. He did it on his own voluntary, and unfortunately, he has failed us. A few weeks ago, he also made remarks that if it was not the son of General Ali Busso, that is me, his deputy governor, he would have resigned from the office of governorship. I challenge him and I ask him, in three days, come, let us resign both of us. How I saw my problem. I'm not here because of money, the good house, the money. I'm here to serve the people of the Unfortunately, he went silent. We are still waiting for his response. So based on this, as you can see, His Excellency has kept his promises to the people of uh, Sokoto State. We are urging and calling on to him to please come and help this region. Please help Nigeria, give us security, give the youth jobs, agriculture, and so many things. So I promise you, the people here are going to support you, inshallah, to the best of their capacity, as I am their leader, and they have chosen me to lead them. I'm pledging our support, inshallah, to you. On this basis, I would like to thank Allah for bringing everyone here safely. I pray he takes everyone back home, and I pray he takes His Excellency back to Susu safely.